Hello, my name is Steve, and today I'm going to go through a video demonstration of Adobe Sign for Microsoft Dynamics. Adobe has a strategic partnership with Microsoft, and Adobe Sign is Microsoft's electronic signature platform of choice. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to send out a sales order from within Microsoft Dynamics's Opportunity object. I can show you how that customer would then go through and sign their sales agreement. And finally, I'm going to show you what we get back at the end of the process and how that updates our opportunity object inside of Dynamics. Now, today's video demonstration is designed to be just a high level overview of Adobe Sign for Microsoft Dynamics. And if you did require more of a technical deep dive on the subject, perhaps how to set up the integration and maybe how we can do data mapping and agreement templates, please do seek out some of my other videos on that subject, which I have recorded but for now and today's demo, we're going to keep it very, very simple. So with that, let's now get started. Here I am inside of Microsoft Dynamics and I'm working on an opportunity here. So let's jump in and have a look. Adobe Sign for Dynamics has been installed and configured and we drive the process from inside of the opportunity object. And the use case here is that we would like to send a sales agreement out to the lead contact on our opportunity here. And you can see that the lead contact is Jane Taylor. She is my demo account and I have access to that email address. I'm going to go through and sign that and show you what our customer will see on their end as well in just a minute. But what I'm going to ask Jane to do is enter in a PO number as well. And we can show that the data entered at time of signing can go through and update Dynamics for us automatically. So the send for signature process is started from within the overflow menu at the top here. If we hit the triple dots and we scroll down and choose send for signature, and it's going to ask which template do we want to use. I would like to send using our client services agreement template. What this is going to do now is generate a draft for us where we can verify one last time that all of our recipients are correct. And sure enough, Jane's been added to our list. We can add more if we need to using the plus button. We're also going to verify that our document is correct. And yep, sure enough, our template is here. And there's a number of different other options we can have happening as well. So if we needed to do in-person signing, for example, maybe Jane's in the same room as us, we can turn the laptop around and have her sign here in person. And we're even able to, to, to preview and position and add more fields to this document if we needed to by checking this box. But I've already added fields offline and my template is looking good. Happy that this is going to go out to Jane Taylor. I can just press send agreement now and our document has been sent for signature. So our sales agreement has now been sent for signature. Let's jump over and see what our customer will see inside of their email inbox. And you can see Jane has an email. And if we open this up and we click on Jane's blue link here, and she's taken straight through to where she can sign her agreement. Now, what we've got happening here is we've got some data mapping taking place. We're at the top of our agreement here is all the details of Jane's company. Jane works for the Coho Winery. And you can see here that the contact details, the address, the phone number, her name, her email address, and the company's website, the amount also from the opportunity inside of Dynamics, all of these details have been mapped automatically onto, our, onto Jane's agreement here. Jane has two required fields. And the first of which here is where we need her to enter in a PO number. Now, to show there's no smoke and mirrors, I'm going to drop down here. It is Thursday, the 9th of May, 2019. Let's enter that in. And scrolling down, Jane needs to enter in her title. And of course, she needs to sign our agreement. So she pops a click in the box and is presented with the four options for signing. The first of which is she can type her name using her keyboard. The second is she can draw her signature using her mouse or her trackpad. So I'm just going to do that now. J and a T in there. 
The third of which is to represent her signature, maybe using a photograph, perhaps of a, a wet ink signature on a piece of paper. Snap that and use that to represent her signature. And finally, she can receive an SMS to a mobile device. Take that device, turn it sideways, sign using her finger, and that signature will come straight back to this laptop so that we are able to continue. What I'm gonna do is just type Jane's name here and press apply. So what would happen if Jane did not want to sign our sales agreement here? Perhaps there was a mistake and uh, the, the total that she was investing is not quite what they'd agreed on the phone. Perhaps she can refuse here to sign and she can top, drop down alternative actions in the top left here. Choose I will not e-sign, enter in a reason and of course if she clicks that blue button this will cancel our transaction and we will get an email notifying us that this has happened. However, on this occasion, Jane is happy to sign and she clicks on her blue button and submits that signature. So our sales agreement has now been signed. Let's jump back into Microsoft Dynamics and see how that affects our opportunity. Returning back into Dynamics here, let's have a look at the Adobe Sign Agreements page. And this will show us every single document that we've sent out for signature inside of this Dynamics instance here. Top of the list is our agreement that we just sent now. And if we force this to do an update, you will see that it has returned the status of signed. And it will tell us the date that it was sent, and it will tell us the date that it was signed as well. And scrolling down on this page, we'll get a little preview of the document as well if we wanted to just double check uh, some details on there. However, let's return back to our opportunity now inside of sales, inside of Dynamics 365. And you will notice now that our PO number that we asked Jane to enter here has been added for us, the 9th of May, 2019. And that's great. What has happened to the signed document though, is it has been added to our opportunity in the notes section here. It has been added as an attachment to a note where the signed PDF is one note and underneath that we have the audit trail as well, also added. And this has all been added to our opportunity from within inside of Microsoft Dynamics. That was Adobe Sign for Microsoft Dynamics. And I hope you'll agree, it was an easy to use interface there. Your sales teams are able to send out a sales order from directly within the opportunity object. I showed you how your customer are able to go through and sign that agreement. And finally, I showed you how that signed agreement affected our opportunity inside of Dynamics. So now I would urge people to seek out a 14 day free trial of Adobe Sign and try it out for yourself inside of Microsoft Dynamics and see just how easy it is to get up and running and sending documents for signature using Adobe Sign. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.